Hello, Nerd in Texoma, back here again with my guest star, Spot. You want to look at the camera? Spot. Nah? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, he's been chilling out right there, hanging out with me, which is cool. I always appreciate that, buddy. Uh, today I'm talking about yet another DVD. I've apparently been on a little bit of a DVD kick in my recent videos, and you know, hey, something different. Today I'm talking about a movie that I saw right when it first came out years ago. Very good movie. Uh, and a couple months ago I actually found it at Dollar General when I was doing my shopping and it was cheap enough and you'll see the price that I paid for it I like it I want it in my collection so I went ahead and bought it uh, it is a movie called Please Stand By and you'll see I paid right about six bucks for it now, some of y'all might be familiar with this movie, some of y'all might not. Some of y'all might be wondering what the heck is going on here if you're not familiar with this movie. Why is she doing that specific hand gesture? Well, let me tell you about this movie. It is a movie about a fictional script contest for Star Trek and in the reality of this movie she's a Star Trek fan that has this great idea for a Star Trek script that she's written and she takes kind of like a cross-country journey to submit that script for consideration in this contest and hopefully see it produced as an episode of Star Trek. I mean, that's pretty cool. So, like, all the way across her trip, she's seeing different Star Trek things. Uh, she's including that into the trip. Uh, if I remember correctly, Again, it's been a while since I've watched it. There are some Star Trek actors in here, if I remember right. Like I said, I need to watch it again. So I'm not 100%. Don't take my complete word for that. But I know there's a lot of in-jokes from Star Trek. Uh, there's definitely things that she sees if I remember correctly she has a battle with a Gorn not a Strange New Worlds Gorn a TOS Gorn uh, but yeah she makes the trip with her little puppy there or dog I don't know if it's a puppy or a dog um, and if I remember correctly Uh, well, yeah, I'm not, yeah, it's a 500 page script that she writes. I mean, that, doggone, that's, that's like half a season there. <laughs> but like I said, it's a pretty cool movie. I wish there was something like that, that there actually were a uh, script writing contest or an idea pitch type contest that could be in Star Trek. I mean, is it possible that at some point in the future, you know, Paramount or CBS will open up something like that? Hey, anything's possible. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but 
but yeah, definitely if you're looking for something with a lot of, you know, Star Trek references, in jokes, something that's slightly off the beaten path, definitely check it out. Um, like I said, this was a couple of months ago I picked this up at Dollar General, so your local Dollar Generals may not have this anymore. They might. I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, definitely check it out if you'd like. Uh, it's called Please Stand By. And, you know, if Dollar General doesn't have it and you're interested in it, I'm sure you can find it on eBay or Amazon or Mercari or any one of those apps. You know, wherever you prefer to buy your DVDs, you might be able to find it on Facebook Marketplace or something local to you. But definitely check it out. Definitely, I say it's worth seeing. And, yeah, it's like a little light-hearted kind of comedy. Pretty cool movie. All right, y'all. Take it easy, nerd in Texoma. I'll see you next time. Be good.